everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video we're going to be unboxing, or rather unpackaging, Briarfest 2019 tickets. Alrighty, let's see our Briarfest ticket goodies. And so I ordered four tickets, so all four tickets should be here. And it looks like they are, oh my goodness. So here it all is. Now, let's go first through the actual ticket portion of the Briarfest tickets of what you actually need to get into Briarfest. I may actually end up adding this video to the Briarfest Survival Guide series just so you can kind of get an idea of the ticket situation for Briarfest. If this is all new stuff to you, then I will kind of explain it a little bit. So starting last year in 2018, Briar started these new wristbands as the tickets instead of the buttons. For the longest time they did the Briarfest buttons, which I think me with a lot of other people agree that we like the Briarfest buttons better because we just really like the buttons. But Briar is doing these wristbands now. So this was the one they did for 2018. As you can see on there, this is the adult 2018 ticket. So it looks like for 2019 here, the yellow ones are going to be the adult ticket ones, these yellow and orange ones. Those yellow and orange ones, and then the child's one is this red one. I did order three adult tickets this year because hopefully both my parents will be coming to Briarfest with me this year. So I have three adult tickets. I do like these. These are actually really cool. I like the design on them. It just says, Horse Heroes Briarfest 2019, and it has a little logo for this year's Briarfest. And these look like the ones where you pull on the bead and that's how you adjust it, but I'm afraid that once... Oh, actually, the bead does look like it slides both ways. It does. Okay, that's really good. I'm happy about this so far. I know there's some bracelets where when you put them on, and slide the bead up them. You can't undo the bead, but it looks like you should be able to loosen this bead down. So that's really good. Yeah, these are nice. I like these wristbands a lot better than the ones from last year because these ones are just kind of uncomfortable. First of all, this like plastic material, if you are wearing it around your wrist, it can get uncomfortable sometimes, especially if you are wearing it for three days. But you can also put it on something else too. You don't have to wear it on your wrist. You just have to like have it on you somehow. Actually, I think I had like a fanny pack thing I was wearing last year. So I just put this on my fanny pack thing the whole time instead of actually wearing it like a bracelet. But I actually might wear it like a bracelet this year because this is a lot more comfortable and it's really cool and adjustable. So it looks like you can take it off at the end of the day and then put it back on if you want to. I'm just really excited about these new cloth bracelets. I think these are a lot... A lot nicer and like someone else said they thought it would be really cute to put these on your briars after briar fest and here's a briar right now to demonstrate that and i think that would be super cute as part of your souvenir you could put your little three-day bracelet on your briar horse maybe on the celebration horse afterwards if you wanted to i do still like the buttons better probably overall but these new fabric bracelets for your tickets are a lot better than last year's. So, as I said, we got three of the adult bracelets here. And then I have one child's one, which I actually won't be using at all, but I'll be still keeping it with like my Briarfest souvenirs. So, I have a Briarfest three-day parking pass I purchased. There's the special run tickets, which we'll take a closer look at in a second. And also on here, I'm just going to pull them off the paper so I don't have to blur out my personal information. Okay, so then also here are the Celebration of Horses tickets. I am going to be selling these. I haven't decided how much I'm going to be selling them for yet. And I'll probably be selling them at Briarfest. I'm not sure yet. But I will be selling these probably because I just don't really go to the Celebration of Horses show. I usually never have any time. So this is for the Saturday tickets and there's four of them. And then there's the tickets for Oliver. This year I'm really really excited about getting four of him 
and I will probably be keeping all of them for sure. So those are what the tickets for the celebration model look like this year. And then lastly are the special run tickets. I have two for Friday at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. and then two for 10 a.m. at 11 a.m. Those are the times that I chose because those are gonna work out best for me. And the reason I got two for each time is because one of my parents will be definitely going through the special run line with me to pick up the models as well, so. And so this is what the special run ticket for Friday looks like. It will look different for Saturday and Sunday. Usually the colors are different. I think one of the Saturday or Sundays one is like red and yellow, I think, and then I don't know what the color of the other one is. But there are the Briarfest special run tickets, the bracelets, the tickets for the celebration model, the tickets for the celebration of horses show, and the three day parking pass. And then lastly, there is also the little information here that Briar sends along with the tickets. And it basically just tells you the gist about your tickets in Briarfest. Yeah, and so I just got two of the same one there. So there you have it guys, there is all that was included for my Briarfest 2019 tickets this year. I am super excited about Briarfest, I'm already making plans, and I'll of course be having a lot of videos about it. And that is all for this video, I hope you guys have a super duper awesome day and I will see you in the next video! Bye everyone!